from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey with your latest headlines. A man is in the hospital following a house fire on the city's southwest side. This happened just after 11 on Collier Street between Troy and Kentucky Avenues. Decatur Township firefighters rushed the man to the hospital with severe injuries. Firefighters say the home had working smoke alarms. They're working to learn what started the fire. So do you know who this person is on your screen? Metro Police say they're a suspect in a deadly carjacking on the city's east side. This happened Tuesday afternoon near Rural Street and Brookside Avenue. The investigators say the suspect may be driving the victim's red Hummer H3. They're asking anyone with information to contact IMPD or Crime Stoppers. An investigation is underway following a deadly crash on Indy's east side. State troopers say a crash happened on Tuesday night just after 9 o'clock. Investigators say the driver of a vehicle died after being thrown from his car on 465 near East 16th Street. No other injuries are reported. Kroger is holding off plans to build a gas station near downtown Indy. We told you about the concerns from those who live near 16th and Central. Kroger officials say the fuel station would have brought more money into the area. Let's get a check right now of our forecast with meteorologist Todd Clausen. All right, as we go throughout the course of the day today, we'll have lots of clouds around. And because of that cloud cover and a northwesterly wind, our temperatures don't really warm a whole lot. We only get into the low to mid 60s, and that's about 5 to 8 degrees below normal. Now, tomorrow we're a little warmer into the mid 60s, but tomorrow we bring rain back. So while today we have the clouds, it's dry. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy to start, and then rain develops as we get into the afternoon hours. And once that rain arrives, we're going to be dealing with scattered showers hours and maybe some heavier downpours off and on throughout Thursday night and then into the day on Friday and then rain chances will continue all the way into Saturday as well before we finally start to clear out and once we get rid of this storm system Lauren temperatures really warm next week highs will be all the way into the 80s. Todd for more stories and weather you need to know just download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.